the speed that they require to do whatever it is they want to do with the internet. Oh, okay. And our rates are on our website. Um, that's a requirement for any provider. I uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, make a motion here that we authorize Shelton and uh, our lawyer to bring back to get with TC and bring back uh, 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 what I'm looking for uh, a proposal uh, of the map that we. Looked at Shelton, and I think it was uh, like 300 miles in northeast Madison County. Bring back a uh, proposal of what would it take to uh, put internet fiber under the ground and on light poles. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, this map, according to our GIS, covers 285 miles of roads. This would include county roads, state aid roads, state highways, uh, because even though they're in, and remember the uh, public service commissioner told you this, Served areas. There are there are fiber cables buried in this area, mm -hmm. but they are not fiber cables that are being used for delivery of home service. Yeah, they are what I've been uh, <coughs> referred to as core lines that someone can tap into to be able to provide uh, home service. But if they were to provide home service, there would have to be fiber either strung up or buried in this area. Uh, and we are trying to get a cost on what the difference between uh, hung on a pole fiber and buried fiber is, and I just I just don't have that right now. Mm -hmm. Paul, well, what was your motion? Uh, Dr. Sheldon and Mike to work with TEC to bring back a proposal and uh, of Looking at putting fiber at this location is 285 miles. Whether it's fiber going on poles or, or in the ground, and the answer to any other question that any board member might have. Let, let me ask you this: With Mr. Osborne there, um, would you mind including in your motion to include him to bring back an, a, another option? What it would take. For him to cover this area as well, yeah, if he could. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, definitely. I'm, I'm open to that. Okay. Add that in there, Ryan. Yes, sir. And we just have the options to look at and yeah. maybe okay. clear it, understand what's going on. Okay. You got the motion. About, you second about that? resources. Okay. The, you mentioned resources. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, on. on uh. The resources that, that how much it would cost to do this? Now, where's the money coming from? Oh, I got another motion for that. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. coming on the second motion. Yeah, come on the next motion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The first motion uh, was was to get proposals on cost to cover this 285 miles from um, Osborne Communication and TEC. PEC. Okay, so, uh, that motion was made by uh, uh, Supervisor Griffin, and it's second by was it Supervisor Steen. Were you seconding that? Yes, sir. So I, you edited, so I thought you were seconding. It. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And the next motion is uh, authorize. Board Supervisor, Shelton, a lawyer, if needed, to be able to travel to D.C. to talk to any of our federal uh, departments or elected.
elected official uh, about broadband, uh, road money, any, I guess you can say, infrastructure type money uh, to discuss with them. But do I need to re say that, Ron? <laughs> Authorize the Board of Supervisors, County uh, County Administrator, and Board Attorney to travel to Washington, D.C. if necessary to discuss uh, lobbyists, broadband. Or lobbyists. They had lobbyists in there. Also and, lobbyists. and lobbyists. Yeah. Look here, there's broadband and infrastructure motion. issues. So there's going to be a second to that motion. I'll second it. Okay, all in favor of the authorization to travel if necessary uh, to DC motion uh, it'll show by sign of I uh, okay okay dokey any other new business or old business that was old business, that was old business. are we finished with the old we can go to the new New business, uh, Supervisor Steen has some things. President, appreciate it. Uh, continue talking about uh, money and lobbyists and, and those type of things that I know that our lobbyist been, has been looking in, into uh, what's going on as far as uh, in Washington with earmarks and bill grants. And uh, they've talked to... Uh, Couple, one of our congressmen anyway, and they're going to talk with the other congressman, uh, Thompson, as well, along with some of the board members and an attorney. But uh, I would like to make a motion, first motion. This is two separate items. First item is really uh, talking about what we would like to uh, maybe uh, see with uh, congressman guests to help us with uh, uh, monies from, uh, from D.C., and I think it has to be turned into his office by the 14th of April uh, as far as what we would like to do and, and what we're going to ask for. So I'm going to read this motion just to make sure I get it correctly. And it has a motion to authorize the county administrator in, in concession with the board president to request that Congressman Michael Guest submit a member-designated project request to the U.S. Committee U.S. House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure for a priority element of the South Madison County Transportation Plan. Um, that would be my motion. Uh, at this point. A second. I'll second it. And basically, what this is saying that uh, if there's money is available for us to ask for. Uh, we definitely would like for Congressman uh, Guest, in which he has agreed to. Uh, to put this in as well, uh, yeah. as far as asking for it. So, okay, it's been second. Uh, all in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Okay, go. The uh, other item I'd like to talk about is uh, the bill grant application, which we all are familiar about, and I know our lobbyists, uh, Butler Snow, have been working uh, with the engineers, along with uh, what's going to take place or thinking about what taking place along with our attorney as well with the uh, NOFO which is uh, hadn't come out yet which hopefully it'll come out around the 26th of April and this motion would be just to move forward with uh, the understanding of the NOFO and the bill grant and uh, to put that application in so I would like to read that motion as well motion to authorize MSEG engineer to perform all necessary and, and necessary activities for preparation and submission of the application for a bill grant for the Reunion Parkway Crossing Project in a timely manner during the 2021 grant application cycle in compliance with the NOFO anticipated to be issued on or before April 26, 2021. That's my motion, Mr. President. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Any other new business? No, sir. Not okay. for me. I have one, uh, one more item. I think I kind of missed it. Old, old business. Oh, 
okay, go right but ahead. But what, what it is 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 uh, giving our county ministry and lawyer and our lobbyists the uh, authority to have conversation with uh, people with the state, uh, people with Madison County Schools, people with Ken Public Schools on the money that they are receiving uh, for rural broadband. Uh, are they willing to assist uh, Madison County in uh, getting uh, internet served in the in the rural parts of Madison County. Mm-hmm. Okay, you um, was that a motion? It was a motion. Okay, so Ronnie, can you can you kind of put that back? Uh, so far, I have authorized the county administrator, board attorney, and county lobbyist to communicate is that the words you wanted? Yeah. We can need it. You, that'll work. To communicate with our legislatures for monies received for rural broadband to assist in North Madison County internet service? Yes. Different. Mm-hmm. That, that gives you enough use use of their proceeds. Use yeah. of use of what? Use of their monies. Oh, their sorry. proceeds. Yeah, their money. State proceeds. Huh? I'm trying to understand. Read that motion back again. I don't know. I've lost the motion. Let's try it all over again. Yeah, I just want to make sure I understand. Okay, you want to authorize the county administrator, board attorney, and the county lobbyist to contact the legislature, help me with this motion, Mike, for the use of their proceeds to assist in acquiring broadband for a rural area of... To cooperate in building out the broadband in Northeast Madison County. There you go, cooperate. Yeah, you didn't build it out. Is that a good motion? <laughs> yep, long as they give the... the, the uh, Lawyer and a lobbyist, the authority to talk for uh, Madison County. You talking about the the monies that the state is going to get? Yeah, the is state the money you... coming from the federal government. Okay. To the state. Yeah. I got you. Or well, any money they they got set up there, especially the school district. Well, okay. the school district, yeah. yeah, they definitely gonna have some money. It, 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 so it's not just the state, it's the school Ooh, district, yeah. it's any uh, the other entities other than Madison County Board of Supervisor uh, funds, because the school district will be getting some funds, not? Yes, sir. In, in, uh, okay. Yep, yeah, they, mm-hmm. they'll get the Madison County School and Canton Public School is yeah. getting uh, uh, some of the American Rescue money. Be, well, and, you know, it'd be helpful then, too, if uh, the Board of Supervisors and the Miles County Schools and the, and the Kent Public Schools, what funds they're going to set aside toward broadband, other funds they're getting, um, that all those funds be kind of used together to uh, make sure that it, it you know, that, that we increase the amount of broadband uh, in Northeast and in in all of Madison County, because we got got some blind spots everywhere. Um, so yeah, okay. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Okay. Any other? You got something? Shelton. What does Shelton have? Mr. President, the only I've got two things. Number one, uh, in the list of people for the MAS convention, uh, I'm figuring out we need to expand the list that we have uh, had on there for uh, approval. Could we add the county engineer to the list of approval for MAS oh, convention? Need to you better wake up to you. Okay, can I get a motion to add the county engineer? Okay. 
Yeah, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, Tim. And then uh, executive session, a couple of items for executive session. I knew you were going to say that. Okay. Can we uh, have a motion for closed determinations? Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Do you want to stay in here or? 